Connecting the expert MKS4 inverter to a A48100 a Dynes battery using BMS communication. Um, let's start off with the battery. The master battery of the Dynes needs to be switched to 0100. First dip down, second dip up, and then your third and your fourth dip down again that is your setting for the master that you need to do this while the battery is off um, as the dip setting will not make effect while the battery is actively running now that this dip is set we can switch on the battery there we go switching on the inverter Okay, so to activate BMS communication on the inverter, press the enter button, keep it pressed in till you see the 00 ESC, go down to setting number 5, it's currently set to LIC, which is the correct setting. So along with the battery, uh, you would have received multiple of these networking cables. Um, have a look for the networking cable lab labeled as Infini Solar or Expert King. Um, let's say for argument's sake you do not have the cable. Use a normal networking cable to the battery side using the normal networking color code. This what you will connect to your Dynes battery in. On the side that go to the inverter, um, you will basically have to connect a RJ45 plug um, using your two orange wires. Um, you will basically run it from the battery side, pin number one, which is your uh, orange white, will go to inverter side, pin number three, and then battery side pin number two which is your solid orange will go to inverter side uh, pin number five now for argument's sake you can see the inverter is uh, warning 61 at the moment saying that there's no communication between the battery and the inverter well, hence the reason this was not connected yet we'll connect that to the BMS port on the inverter and then give it some time to establish communication. This might take about 40 seconds or so. Just give it some time to establish communication. One thing to look at is the top part here is your battery details. Uh, obviously your main number is your battery DC voltage um, with your charging voltage or discharging voltages on the right hand side. It does stipulate lithium ion icon, however this does not necessarily mean it's connected. Notice this brackets started flashing. That is your telltale sign that the communication has been established. Lithium ion icon is purely there to tell you the setting is set for lithium ion, but the actual BMS communication is this flashing of the brackets. Um, but at the moment, as you can see, communication has been established working properly. Thank you very much.